Well, good morning. How, how are you today? Um, I need a word of explanation to start. Uh, it should have been Elaine today um, doing the thought for the day. Uh, but as some of you may know, Elaine's mum passed away in the small hours of yesterday morning and she didn't feel like recording a thought for the day in her grief. And it made me think uh, about what about grief and what grief and crying is all all about. Maybe one of the nearest times grief has come to me is uh, when we lost our first child to a miscarriage uh, many years ago. And I remember that when uh, Helen came back from the hospital, we just didn't know what to do with ourselves. Uh, we, I think we had a, had lunch together. Uh, I think we got in the car and went out to one of the spots we, uh, local spots we used to like uh, going for walks. But it just didn't work. It seemed like it was in monochrome. The things that were views that had been beautiful just a few weeks earlier, a few days earlier, I uh, just didn't just weren't, weren't anything. We couldn't talk to each other. And then we re re I realised that th we had some friends who lived quite close to this uh, spot, beauty spot we'd gone out to. We weren't friends we knew particularly well, um, but we knew they were, they, were, they were good friends. We went and we just rang their doorbell. And as we, they invited us in and asked us why, why, why we'd come, and as we cried with them, as they rustled up I can't remember, something simple to eat together, I think I've never felt more alive than at that moment when we were in our grief, but crying on the shoulders, crying in the company of a couple of good friends who were listening to our grief. There was nothing they could do about it. Uh, the child was gone. Uh, nothing really they could say. They didn't say very much at all. But in that crying, in that sharing, there was there was real joy. There was real life. We teach children not to cry, don't we? We say, "Don't cry." Uh, we we find the thing, the toy, the the blanket, the sweet that will stop them crying. But what the young child knows, which is that what it really needs is to cry. But it needs to cry on mum's or, or dad's shoulder. Not to get anything, just to be close. It's only that as we try to give them things that they learn the lesson that, that, that crying can be a way of getting things. The young child just wants to be close to its parent. And I think it's the same with us both with our close friends and maybe most of all with our Heavenly Father. The richest blessing as we grieve, as we face deep sadness inside ourselves, is, is to cry out, to cry, not, not to get anything, but simply to enjoy relationship. So many of the Psalms, the Psalmists cry out to the Lord. They cry out to the Lord in their distress. And it's in that crying that we can really appreciate relationship. So maybe we need to learn again how, how to cry. Maybe some of us have, have forgotten it. Maybe that, that message, don't cry, has been passed on so firmly that we've forgotten how to cry. We've, we've unlearnt the lesson that I'm sure we all knew as, as babies. But to learn to cry and enjoy relationship. And maybe we learn, need to learn again the gift of being cried on. The gift that we can give someone just by letting them cry on our shoulder. Not to find solutions to their problems. Maybe there aren't any. But simply to get close. And maybe as Maybe today one or two of us will be able to offer that gift to Elaine. 
and to others facing grief in their lives, even if it's only over the phone or on WhatsApp or FaceTime. Because the, the real gift of crying is in the relationships that it can build. So may God bless you.